So let's talk. I want to something I want to talk about. Yeah, because I'm kind of curious, yeah. and I who doesn't love talking about food? Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about food mm -hmm. because um, we all love food. Yes, you know, don't we? I yes. think we do. Yes, um, I'm obsessed. With I'm it. a foodie. You're a foodie. Mm -hmm. I we both eat a lot. <laughs> People when they watch us eating a lot are shocked <laughs> by how much we can put away mm -hmm. because we're tiny people. Yes, and um, it's gets out let's of just say that we eat a disproportionate amount yes. portion wise for the size of our bodies. So, but that being said, first of all, what what foods do you enjoy? Mm -hmm. You know, and what and why? And then what foods do you not eat or avoid, and okay. why? Okay, we can just we can talk about that. Okay, I think that's interesting. So number one, I want to make this very clear. I love all food. And uh, if I want to interrupt you for one second because that reminded me of something. Someone recently asked me, Jennifer, what's your favorite food? Everything. And no, I said the food that I'm eating, like right, right now, now, whatever yeah. I'm eating at the yeah. time is my favorite because mm -hmm. I'm like you, I love yeah. eating and I love right. food. So go and on, sorry. At my age, it's taking when people say, um, What do you do? I say, What do you mean, what do you do? Uh, it's very clamorous. I either uh, food shopping and bringing it home and then I make it and then I eat it in between I do some yoga that's my day self-care yes mm -hmm. it takes my 69 year old day that I have to be self-sufficient so therefore I get to and that's why mobility is very very yeah. important I go and I take care of shopping and then I bring it home and then while I'm chopping and making it, of course, it's, you know, medit well, meditation. Yeah. Yes. So what, like, what, what kind of, for example, so, like what on a typical day, what, what do you like? like so like for coffee? instance, uh, and I'm going to, yeah, the Bulletproof coffee, that's my favorite. That's my a daily routine. And so when I wake up, uh, I drink my coffee. Do you use coconut oil or what do you use for that? I actually use MCT. Do you use the brand name? I, the, the Bulletproof some, is something I use, actually. Not that bougie? <laughs> no, use no. the, the knockoff? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm just curious. And so that, and then last month I ran out of Bulletproof by Dave Asprey. Uh -oh. So I, you called him on the phone because you're on a first name basis <laughs> with Dave Asprey. No, no <laughs> yeah. actually. And so that's what I drink, uh, Bulletproof coffee every morning. That's every morning. And then, of course... Uh, and why do, you, why do you have that? Because that having that MCT oil, of course, and that and coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee is, you know, but uh, coffee. As I'm getting older, I have noticed that my experience is I'm... Mm -hmm my energy is boosted by mm -hmm. it and so therefore i don't i don't um mess with that so yeah. daddy and i both they call we, it brain octane yes. i think that's a very good name that for is it. a name yeah that is the brain because octane it fuels is, the brain and yes. body and you're just mm -hmm. ready to go yes <laughs> i am ready to go yes. and then uh and then and also daddy yeah he, he, that's he, so he drinks good. the same i'm yes. so proud of you guys yes and then um about one between one and two and sometimes it's earlier so it's noon me too and i i think have, we have similar yes i habits, think so too because it's yeah. same for me mm -hmm. um and i don't think we're the only people who no, do that but I, yeah, i'm the same way it's like yeah. two but sometimes it's like 12 12 30 or like 12 10 whenever i feel that hunger arise right i take care of it right, right. and so when i later on i mean it, you know sometimes it becomes like three or right, four me too and uh, so I don't rush. In other to, words, what we're trying to say is we listen to our bodies. Yeah. And I, yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, I, I mean, it took a few years. Uh, when you started talking about it, Yeah. I thought, okay, can I do that? And I did little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. I do have to say, I. that's one thing that I, you know, yeah. I'm very you good at pause. And you yeah. are. And so little bit at a time and try. And so it started at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I started pushing and mm -hmm. it re my body really appreciated that. And so um, I, I'm still practicing and that seems to be the magic pill for me and daddy. Yeah. And so uh, when I break my fast, if you don't count the Bulletproof coffee, 
what I do is I eat, you know, have some kind of a soup with the um, bone broth base. Base. Me too. Yes. And then we're big on bone broth. Yes. I'm not sure if you, I mean, you. We grew up. Yeah, you did. I mean, that's looking what back, they do. I yeah. bone broth for me. I've been. Mm -hmm. It's been the past few years, but I can remember mm -hmm. you having a huge pot Pasta of stuff. And I, yeah, I never knew what that was. The aroma. And, and then you when you would put it, it in the refrigerator, it would yeah. become like jello. Yeah. I never knew what that was with right. all the bones, and it was yeah. so bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Now, so savage, you like? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, I've now I'm grown up. I've studied functional medicine. I'm doing my own bone broth. I'm like. Oh so my that's gosh, what that's what that was. That huge pot on the stove with the literal bones boiling. And I thought, what is that cauldron of mystery? Mm -hmm. That's what that was. That's so, what it was. yeah, I give you so credit. For, for me, I do have to say, I mean, you know, you wonder, is it yoga or is it bone broth or what is. I have to be honest, it's everything. That's what I feel like. It's everything. I feel like that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, when people ask me, mm -hmm. Jennifer, can mm -hmm. you coach me on this mm -hmm. or what to eat? Or, yeah. And I can, and I do, but it actually is all of it right. combined. Right. And and also, I need to point out, like just like me, you don't smoke, you don't drink, you mm -hmm. never have. Like mm -hmm. Those things affect aging, they affect the skin, they just, you know, they age you prematurely. So we, oh, we both practice things um, in a mindful way. And... Um, what about foods you avoid? Sugar, in other words. Sugar yeah. and anything for, for us, Daddy and I. Yeah, that you was were my... kind of guiding us to no wheat. And then when we started practicing, definitely we could see the difference. Yeah. And so, so we're talking about, to be clear, refined carbohydrate. We're not talking about complex carbohydrate like vegetables. Mm -hmm. We're talking about sugar mm -hmm. in all its forms. So white table sugar, obviously, but mm -hmm. also refined carbohydrates, like you know, you said, trigger yeah. insulin, which is a domino effect of deleterious effects on mm -hmm. the body. So especially as you age, you, Absolutely. Don't, you don't want that. Yeah. yeah.